Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in um, our Dolphin live chat. Uh, this is our second time doing it and today I'm very excited to have a few very, very awesome guests. I'm going to have these guys introduce themselves, uh, um, Joshua and the Evernote team. So me, if you want to start. Sure, are you? <laughs> I'm uh, Mia Yagi Numa and I do marketing for partners at Evernote. We, uh, Evernote's a platform and we have a lot of partners that create really awesome services. I'm Josh Zirkel. I'm the Evernote Productivity Ambassador. So I moderate the forum on productivity as well as write some posts for the blog. I've written a couple books on using Evernote for productivity. Yeah, so I'm Julian. Um, I'm on the platform team. I help partners integrate with, uh, with Evernote. So I moderate the forum on productivity as well as write some posts for the blog. I've written a couple books on using we work with it, so. Awesome. So um, today, live chat, we're going to have about 20 minutes. I'm going to ask a few questions to learn about more like web clipping and some of the things that we have done recently. But um, and after about 20 minutes or so, we're going to open up uh, for questions. So get your questions ready. We're going to start at about 10:25. Uh, so. So yeah, so guys, like, tell us more about like web web clipping, like how that come about, and like what's the story behind all that. Um, so we've had the web clipper since the end of two thousand nine, and uh, for Evernote, like the fundamental feature is to be able to save content uh, to Evernote and save everything that's important to you, and web content be able to clip web pages or articles or whatever is is uh, something that everyone does, and so it's a tool where you can basically just click a button and then it will automatically take uh, the content that's important on that page and strip away a lot of the junk, like the URLs or sidebars or whatever, and um, save that in your Evernote. So it's a way to put great content that you want to read, labor, or just have for um, always in Evernote. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't realize it's been around since you were saying 2000. End of 2009. That's yeah. a long time. It's a, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a major feature for, for Evernote. Yeah, oh, wow. it's one of the most requested functionalities that our users had, and that's why we put a lot of resources in there. And it's definitely one of the most useful parts of Evernote in terms of being able to capture content that all of us are in front of daily. Like all of us use the web, and being able to capture content directly from there to our personal Evernote accounts is really powerful. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But so is that like a big team, like sitting in an Evernote office, and everybody coding away? Like how big <laughs> is that team? It's, it's pretty big. I mean, we have a product manager, we have a couple of developers, QA people working on that. Um, you have to understand that you have when you do it for one platform, you have to do it for the other. So it has to work on Firefox, IE, mm -hmm. uh, Safari, and, um, and Chrome. And every time, basically, um, you have to <laughs> get signs as we talk. <laughs> um, <laughs> and basically, you have to do some specific work for every one of those platforms. So yeah. it's a lot of work. And <coughs> from a technology standpoint, all those things are evolving pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, so we have to keep up with them. And uh, so it's a lot of work. Yeah, so you guys have the extension on Safari, Firefox, Chrome, and IE. IE. Yeah. Oh, fine. You don't know. <laughs> I don't use IE. It's all good. Um, and then you know, it's, it's cool that like I, I think what you know, Dolphin and Evernote have built together is actually the first mobile web clipping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, yeah. I, it's a really cool story. I like it a lot that our users and Dolphin users uh, requested it and it was something that they really wanted integrated in a mobile browser so that you know when you're using your iPad and doing what you already do, looking at things around the internet and you want to save that content to Evernote, it's, it's an integrated seamless experience. And um, it was really great that you guys responded and we worked closely with you to bring it to the users. Yeah. You guys, you guys been all right. <laughs> <laughs> we hope so. <laughs> yeah. So, so on that note, you know, like tell us some like funny things, like in general. What, what do you guys clip? Like on mobile, any like crazy things? I mean, when yeah. I'm out in the world, I clip things constantly because yes. when an idea strikes and I see something that inspires me, mm -hmm. I don't want to have to wait until later when I probably will forget it to try to remember to capture it. Yeah. So when I'm with a client and I'm working with them and we're talking about ideas that might help them, we capture them right away and put them into their notebook. Right. And like for me personally, like I've just moved into a new house and I see ideas out in the world. And if, if I'm using my phone, I'll capture them with a the photo. Yeah. If I'm on my iPad and I'm looking stuff up, 
I'll capture them into my design notebook. So like furniture ideas or decorating ideas or just like general homekeeping mm -hmm. ideas. Like I capture all that stuff. Yeah. And Web Clipper makes that possible. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even think about it. Like you're just surfing the web and you see something. Maybe it's something that you don't even really need now, but you think, oh, that, that's <coughs> useful for whenever I might need it. You just basically just click a button and then you know it's saved. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I have several notebooks full of things that I may use someday. Yeah, it's like <laughs> awesome for that someday category yeah. of stuff. Like I don't know when I'm going to need this. It might be useful to me. I don't know when. Yeah, yeah. And awesome I just feel a little that. smarter that way because I know like, oh. Like, article on this like check it out mm -hmm. yeah for sure one other thing that I start doing is um, I've been traveling a lot and when I actually use Dolphin to check in on my flight and usually they have the actual sort of check-in that you know, funky sign and then I'm like I don't know what to do with it because now I can use it to check in so I start clipping that mm -hmm. thing almost as my ticket yes yeah. yeah. actually is my ticket yeah. Yeah. so I don't even print anything so totally green yeah, it's great. Uh, yeah. And like, especially yeah. if you travel and you look up like articles about your destination on your iPad or restaurants that you want to go to, you can use the web clipper, clip all that stuff into yeah. a destination notebook yeah. along with your travel itinerary and your flight confirmation. Yeah. And everything's all in one spot. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And, and like what well, we were ch chatting earlier before the live chat. Oh, by the way, if you guys have any questions, you make sure that you hashtag uh, Dolphin Life. Dolphin Life. Thanks, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> So make sure you tweet or on Facebook you can say um, hashtag Dolphin Life. Um, okay, go back to our conversation. I actually almost like to call like the whole web clipping ex experience is like a Pinterest for personal like, yeah. mm -hmm. storing mm -hmm. personal. Uh, but I don't want to broadcast it or what kind of dress <laughs> I want to buy. But it's like personal things and, yeah, yeah. For, for the future. Yeah, for Definitely. sure. I know a lot of people like me um, use the web clipper to clip recipes for cooking. And what I like to do is actually, once I have the recipe in my account, if I want to change something there, like an ingredient or, or uh, the amount I have to put in, like I yeah. can actually change it there and continue doing it the next time. Yeah, it's great because it's not just like a screenshot of the web page, it's the content. Yep. And you can modify the content, you can delete out parts that you don't want or add in new parts that are relevant to you. Yep. And it's just for you yep. yeah. and whoever you choose to share it with. Yeah, and particularly with the Dolphin browser, like you can, you know, annotate it so yeah. there are times when I might click something and sort of not really remember why that interested mm -hmm. me at a certain point but if I can highlight and be like you know tell so-and-so and then save it then like I will never forget <laughs> okay. Okay. so I think we t talk enough about web clipping and you know hopefully everybody like definitely try it it's something mm -hmm. that you know we all been working very very hard on um, and you know if there's any things to improve let us know but let's like, kind of shift topic a little bit. Um, I think all of us is very, very into productivity and now like everything is sort of on your, on your mobile phone. Mm -hmm. um, first off, what kind of phone do you guys use? Um, and any sort of mobile tips like, can you can share with our user community? He's into that. Uh, so, <laughs> so I'm embarrassed to say I have a very old iPhone. I have an iPhone 3GS, which still functions. <laughs> Slowly, but it awesome. functions. It's, it's, yeah, it's, functioning. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. like a brick. Like yeah. I, I have dropped like that thing so many times, and it still works. And yeah. I'll get a new phone someday. But for now, that's what I've got. Um, on the go productivity. I mean, most of the tools that we have at our disposal on the desktop, we have versions of them yeah. on the go too, which is great. So, you know, if if you need to tweet, you've got all sorts of Twitter apps. If you've got to collect information, you have Evernote with you, and you can pull up all your stuff. The way that I generally encourage people to use their mobile device for productivity on the go is use it more so as a content consumption device than a creation device, with the exception of being able to clip web pages and things like that. But especially if you've clipped web pages using Dolphin Browser or using Evernote on your desktop, you can always use Evernote on your mobile device as a read it later service. <coughs> and that's what a lot of my people do yeah. because they'll collect lots of articles mm -hmm. and say I'll read them someday, but someday is often the five minutes you have when you're waiting for the train. Yeah, sure. And yeah. that's a great yeah. way to use up those spare moments in a, in a way that isn't work work, but still gets stuff done. Yeah, yeah. And I agree, like I think I use the phone a lot to access Evernote. Like I, I'll have, and, and I've learned just over just to put everything in Evernote and you realize the benefit at that one moment when you're out of the office and you've just stood in line for like 30 minutes and you need that one number, your account number, whatever, and if you've you know, just thrown everything in Evernote, then you can access it and get your job done. 
without having to be like, oh, I have to come back another day or something. Mm -hmm. So I found several times that it really yeah. helped me to have, just to know everything's in Evernote. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. There's one side of capturing that's also interesting, I think, on mobile, and is taking pictures. Mm -hmm. And we have um, handwriting and text recognition and images. So if you take a picture, you yeah, mm -hmm. in every image, like we, we process it and we can do uh, text recognition there. So if you, that's cool. yeah, if mm -hmm. you take a picture, put it in Evernote, mm -hmm. then we'll be able to search in it later. Mm -hmm. So I took, uh, for example, I take a lot of um, my uh, receipts and pic pictures of my receipts or bills or stuff like that. And then I have it in Evernote and later if I need a reference, I just search for it. So, I mean, even yeah. the handwritten notes. Yeah, they're still good. searching. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's so great if you capture like ID cards, like yeah. your health insurance ID card, and you know you need to make an appointment with the doctor, but you don't happen to have your card with you at the office. You can just look for it. Yeah. And then you have all the numbers you need right there, or even like your frequent flyer information. Yes. All of those cards can be captured, yeah. stored in Evernote, and then you look up your airline when you need it, and it pops right up. It's yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. For sure. So, um, on that note, let's shift. Sh and kind of a completely different thing since like we had Jillian here, which you are the a developer advocate. 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 Not. <coughs> not yeah. Got it. Got it. Um, this is like we actually get some questions on so the trunk in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And been the, we've been very great partners working together for over a year now. Yeah. But there are a lot of like different use cases. Because Josh would just say, mm -hmm. you know, business card. I mean, business card is a very particular sort of yeah. like usage, and you guys have ex Expansify, which I use yeah. um, as well. So, like, how, how <coughs> you want to talk a little bit about trunk and yeah. That work? So we have the Evernote trunk, uh, which is kind of like our our own app store of partner applications that integrate with uh, with Evernote, and from there you'll be able to find a lot of partners that have done a really good job. Mm. How many partners do you guys have now? Uh, we have over twenty thousand developers on our platform. Okay. Um, I don't have the latest number of trunk apps that were well that are in the trunk because they need to go through a process of approval. Okay. Um, but we there's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah, I think it's we're trying to improve also the trunk and, to make it easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, right? like mine. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. improve discovery there. So mm. I think it's um, we're really happy of what our partners are doing and. They're definitely filling in all the use cases we can. So, mm. like we don't do templates. We have Custom Note, mm -hmm. uh, which is a really valuable partner. We have you guys for the browser and clipping. Um, we have a lot. But we have great solutions for meeting, live minutes, mm -hmm. and Uber conference. Yeah, they both are great. Yeah, you use them? Yeah, I use both actually. And I think the the awesome thing about the trunk is whatever you want Evernote to do that it doesn't do on its own. Yeah. If you look in the trunk, there's probably five apps that do some variation yeah. of that thing that you're looking for. And one of those will be the right fit for you. And I think it's such a worthwhile place to look if you're trying to extend Evernote to do something that's meaningful for you, mm -hmm. or that will help you be more productive. Yeah, for sure. So you have a new book. What, what I do. What's, what's the name of your new book? So the new book is Evernote at Work, and it's all about use cases for how to put Evernote to work for you during your everyday work life. There's been a lot of tips and blog posts and books written on how to do things with Evernote personally. Yeah. But there hasn't been a lot about what can I do with it to help me be productive all day, every day, when I'm at work or when I'm working with other people. Yep. And I think Evernote is like one of the most awesome tools invented ever for working smart. And I wrote a book about many different ways that you can put it to use in small and big ways mm -hmm. to help you get more done at work. What was your, one of your favorite tips in the book? One of my favorite tips, and this is interesting because I think people who gravitate towards Evernote, they fall into one of two camps that either super organized already mm -hmm. or super not. Yep. And Evernote can be used for both of those people at work and at home. And they fall into the, either the whatever organizer category where they have just a couple notebooks and they dump everything in mm -hmm. and they use search and the search is so powerful that you can find what you need. Or they're what I call super organizers where they have lots of notebooks and lots of tags and that works better for them. And so when I start working with someone and helping them implement Evernote, whether at work or at home, we talk about what makes the most sense for them, mm -hmm. and there's no one right way to do it. Mm -hmm. So whoever you are, however you think, you can structure Evernote in a way that suits you, yeah. and it can still be productive either way. Yeah, I'm definitely the whatever <laughs> organizer. Well, and then also just yeah. to note that we have, we recently launched Evernote Business, and mm -hmm. so you can use it company-wide and have an employment where you have a shared Evernote Evernote Business Library. Mm -hmm. So a lot of that knowledge that 
it gets lost between teams, we'll have, you can have an Evernote business yeah. library and yeah. access and searchable. Um, and I actually really like that. I use that every day. Like I'm searching yeah. in there for all sorts of stuff. So. Oh, that's yeah. cool. And the great thing about Evernote is the more you put in it, the more useful it gets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's one of those tools that when you start with it, it can be a little like, I'm not sure what to do. Mm -hmm. But the more you just put in there and other people, especially if you're working on a team, put in there, the more valuable it becomes, the richer the experience gets. Yeah. So and actually, coming back to the Web Clipper, I think that's like the first thing when people are like, I don't know where to start. And you say, just use Web Clipper, mm -hmm. just clip anything that interests you, mm -hmm. and then you'll start seeing the benefits. Yeah. So. yeah. And that, that's even more true in a, in a business because you access other people's notes if they decided to share it with the business. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that means that you can actually discover information mm -hmm. that somebody else put. Yeah. And we have a function called related notes. So based on the content, it's going to find related content inside of your business. Yeah. Um, and if you're searching in Google with the Web Clipper, it'll show you related notes from your business. That's yeah. like the coolest feature, the related notes yeah. when you yeah. search in Google, because yeah. it's it's scarily relevant <laughs> to what I'm searching for. No, it's great. It's really it's awesome. It's useful. Like you, you know, you be maybe you're gonna have a phone call with a client or something, and just kind of put it in because you're looking for yourself, and all of a sudden you realize there's a notebook that somebody yeah. already established, and mm -hmm. you can kind of. Yeah. And that happened several times that I was going to meet a partner, mm. type the name of the company uh, in, in Google, and then I saw notes show up that from somebody else, another coworker actually met them before. So I just went to the coworker and talked about it. And so it actually helped me know that that coworker actually met them. Before. Yeah, which gave me another idea because we, like for as mobile developers, a lot of times you see errors that comes up. And then if there's actually something that we see, we clip that mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. uh, tracking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Tracking yeah. issues. And now <coughs> I can probably do that and share with all my other teams. Yeah. yeah. No, not won't. that that happened that often. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> if for some reason it ever if did happen. Yeah. <laughs> not that it does, but if. <laughs> That's right. It's so cool because like when, especially in a business, when different people are clipping to the same shared notebook or yeah. a series of shared notebooks, it's like curated content. Yeah. Just for it's what's really relevant. Really relevant. To you. Yeah. 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 Very well, we have a we have a notebook for our team, and we clip content there, and it's actually like articles that are really interesting for our group. And mm -hmm. every time there's an article there, everybody reads it, and we can mm -hmm. talk about it because somebody actually took the time of clipping that content inside of that notebook. Right. So yeah. it's really good. Makes sense. Um, so I'm actually going to start open up, you know, for for everybody else who is online. If you have any questions, so don't up. forget to. Um, the hashtag Dolphin Life. So um, <coughs> I have the first question actually coming from Yannick. Um, and the question is on the iPad app, is the Clipper for Evernote included uh, or we have to add it? Um, so I can actually add yeah. this one. So mm -hmm. if you actually a Dolphin users, um, is actually already included a problem. It's integrated, it's yeah. seamless, it's awesome. Yeah. It's already there, yeah. it's great. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. just um, on the top right corner, um, you click so the, like the, the share, mm -hmm. like the three dot, and then it will actually open up and let you, you just, all you need to do is to log into the Evernote account for the first time. Yeah. And after that, um, you can basically click, click and you can do annotation, which is actually really, really cool. Yeah, you can really select cool. which notebook you want it to go into. Add tag, mm -hmm. add tag, and all that <coughs> stuff. So it's definitely built in. All right, uh, second question from Ronan. Uh, why does Dolphin, as a, what, age restriction? Oh, ah, yeah. On the uh, app store? Good yeah. questions. Fun on the, well, it's funny, but not funny. But sometimes, like, I, some of my friends, when I ask them, hey, you have to install the often, and you pop up, and it's like, oh, it has to be at least 17 or above. Um, not because that we're going to tr try to show you anything funny, but uh, some of our users may like to search for funny things, um, yeah. funny images that mm -hmm. we, that could not maybe. You know, not for children, so they have no, we have no control of it. Um, therefore, we sort of have to give you guys a warning, unfortunately, and fortunately. It um, doesn't contain age restricted or age inappropriate material, but in theory, it could be used to search yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, and, and actually, that applies to a lot of other mm -hmm. apps as well. Yeah. So we kind of have to do that. Um, next question is from Wawa. Wawa. Okay. <laughs> Why does Dolphin? don't have a mobile agent toggle if I try to clip a web page I don't want to clip the mobile version of it and the desktop toggle add-on is not working with all the web pages um, so the answer to that is <coughs> thanks Beth <laughs> so you actually do you have to go to actually setting to change the desktop mode so once you change that to desktop mode um, so you can actually toggle but you just have to go to setting to, to set it 
So, but for sure, like that's a great suggestion. Will make it definitely easier to you know, make it easier for everybody. So it's not as difficult to find. So thanks, Bawa. Um, a couple other questions. So one quick question for Josh. So you mentioned that you are an Evernote ambassador. How how that come about? So I've known Evernote for a number of years. I think even before you were around, mm -hmm, uh -huh. um, and before you were around, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've, I've known Evernote, like known people at the company for, I don't know, three or four years now, mm -hmm. very shortly after its initial people getting excited about its stage. And I'd worked with Evernote a little bit to produce some content here and there, and we did a live event maybe two or three years ago. And out of that, there was some inspiration to have in a, like an outside third-party evangelist type of role and from that came the ambassadorship. And there are a number of different ambassadors focusing on things like organization, lifestyle, productivity, food, all the different ways that you can put Evernote to use. Each one of us focuses on a slightly different slice of how you can put Evernote to use in your work and in your life. And one of the, the things that I do is I come to events like this and I write for the Evernote blog sometimes and post okay. meetups. So it was sort of like you just email them Hey, I'm a user. Uh, <laughs> along those lines, sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I got to know the folks at Evernote through meeting them at conferences and talking with them at their offices. Yeah. Um, well, there is a yeah. page, it's the there's Evernote an ambassador page. slash community, yeah. correct? Mm -hmm. and, and I think at the bottom, there's an application To become area. an ambassador. Um, but mm -hmm. there is quite a, a process, like you know, we, yeah. we, we make sure there's a good fit. Yeah. Um, and you know, it is a program, and so this make sure we have an understanding of what we're trying to accomplish as a group. But now yeah. we're, we're global, and it's growing, and it, it's really it's, cool. It's like amazing. Now. There's people all over the world who share the same passion for yeah. Evernote as I do, and it's the funniest thing when all of us get together, we all get to super geek out over <laughs> the ways we use Evernote and find new ways to put it to use for ourselves that we may not have thought of. And, yeah. You know, it's a really awesome community, and, and one of the awesome things for me is it, it puts me in a position where I get to talk with more people about it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it's an easy thing to talk about because I love it. Yeah, <laughs> we, we definitely have learned a lot from, from you guys, like in terms of putting the ambassador program. So mm. we will be launching that soon as well. So if any of you guys are interested, Sweet. thank us. Uh, let's see, a couple other questions. Well, this is sort of like an odd. But interesting questions. I don't know if I can count. Sounds great. Uh, for all of us, how many notes do you have? How many notes? On, notes? on every and, note. Yeah. And what is what, what is your favorite notebook with the most notes? Oh, <laughs> this is like a, interesting. Hmm. I don't think I know. I know. You know? I have, <laughs> at last count, I have 5,127 ah, notes. <laughs> And I think it really depends on how people use it. I tend yeah. to create lots of notes. Um, some people have just one note or one notebook. And uh -huh. It just really depends. But yeah, I, I, I have a little over 4,000, which uh -huh. really surprised me. But um, Yeah, I, I decided one day to display the note count. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, I didn't... Because you don't really think about how yeah. many you have. You think about what you need to get and you access the ones that you need. Yeah. But the entirety of it is, yeah. wow, I've been but collecting stuff for a while. But some notes are just pictures or yeah. scans of a card or, mm -hmm. you know... Um, My notebook... My note count really grew when I started scanning all my papers and putting them in Evernote yeah. because I completely eliminated my file cabinet and scanned all my documents into oh, wow. Evernote. And that created a lot of notes. Yes. I think I have like 3,000, so I lost in this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but my favorite notebook is actually um, pictures of bottles of wines mm. that I actually liked. And <laughs> so basically, I just took the picture, and I, if I wanted to buy it again later, I can just look. Look in that notebook, and then I got started doing another notebook of wines that I didn't like, because then I ended didn't up didn't like yeah because don't then buy I it again. don't buy it again in the kind of sense. So yeah. yeah, one of my favorite ones, and I use it all the time, is one that I call Contacts Purgatory. So <laughs> I meet people at conferences or yeah. out in the world, and I get their business card, and they don't they haven't earned a spot in my address book because I don't want to see their name when I'm looking for people on my phone. I don't really know them yet, but. They're important enough that I don't want to toss out their card because I might need to find their information one right. day. So I, I either take a picture of their card or I scan it into the contacts purgatory notebook. And when I need to find them, they're there. Right. Rather than in my address book with the yes. rest of the people that I really know. Makes sense. Okay. Cool. Because so they're in purgatory. I don't know what's going to happen with so, them so, yet. So, <laughs> so, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I guess like you won in this contest. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what are you going to say? Oh, I was just wondering, have you used ever hello at conferences? Or? I haven't yet, because yeah. this phone honestly is too slow Oh, that's for that. right, that's yes. right. Yes, sorry. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, we have um, Evernote Hello, which is great for like meeting people yeah. and sharing information, scanning yeah. cards. And the um, improvements so on it are pretty tremendous. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. So so if you crazy. like, if you yeah. get a business card at a conference or well anywhere, just take Evernote Hello, and you scan the business card, and it's gonna create pull in the content from LinkedIn and create a note in your account uh, just to help you remember that you met that person at that time. And where? That yeah. yeah, it puts context. it in the context. Yeah. It's amazing. Okay. We love it. So, so on that note, um, so another question is asking, what are your top three like mobile apps that you guys like on your desk? Of, of, of course, Evernote and Dolphin, but other than that. <laughs> uh, in general, mm. can I take my yeah, phone? Yeah, I need to look. Sure. <laughs> what do I have on my home screen? That should give me some information. Um, Well, I, I, I just use maps all the time because I get lost. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, just because yeah. of the phone, be able to locate where on, I am. On that note, I'm yeah. sorry, but I just say, do not, <laughs> with a passion, I don't like the new map. Yeah. None of this are the same yeah. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But it's helped a lot before I had you know, phones out. It's hard yeah. to choose three, actually. Um, okay. Is it three I use the okay. most? or? Like? Sure. Go. Okay. Julian first. Uh, I would say Instagram definitely a lot. Yeah. Uh, group me. Hmm. I use it to chat. Okay. And um, uh, oh, Nike Plus the fuel band. Mm -hmm. okay. That's very healthy. Healthy. Try to. Pictures <laughs> lifestyle. And are most organized. I use LastPass almost oh. every day. That one okay. stores all my passwords, and it's a cloud-based service, so yep. it connects with a secure spot in the cloud. Yep, we partner up with them too. Yeah, it's great. Yep. I, I love that. Um, I use Dropbox, okay. the mobile app, all the time to access important files that are actually in process. Yep. And I use Sprout Social to manage my social media feeds, and it's a they have a really nice mobile app to help manage all the different places that people are talking. Um, I actually use Skype a lot, like I'm, I'm just, yeah. just to, um, as I'm walking around, be able to do the calls. And then there's this app, this cute app called Every Day, where you take a picture of a face. So I take a picture of my kid every day, and, oh. and you, you kind of locate it in the same location so that it just kind of morphs over time. Um, really? That's cool. Yeah, it's really good. it's really hard to get a picture every day, but. <laughs> Oh. Maybe it should be called most days. <laughs> yeah, most days, <laughs> almost. Um, oh, and then, okay. yeah, and just like any kind of location <laughs> map functionality, I, I use a lot. Yeah, um, for me, Pandora. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big time, I just oh. always have music on. Um, Evernote, obviously, Dolphin. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Twitter. Mm -hmm. I almost use it as a reading. True. Oh, what's going on in the yeah. mm -hmm. So, um, well, I actually have another question, particularly for Evernote. So you guys make a really beautiful app for Windows desktop. Mm -hmm. Any plans for creating the same beauty for Linux? Becky. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think the, um, it's hard for us to actually do a one version that will work on every Linux client because there like they are a lot of them. Um, and also, we don't want to. Um, if we were to do a Linux client, we would have to open source it. Uh, and we want the community to be building that. And we actually do have a pretty active uh, community uh, with our platform. And there is an open source client, but there it's been maintained. And I don't know how many people are active on that project, yep. uh, but they, I know they're still working on it. And if somebody, the person who asked the question is interested in being part of that process, uh, we can um, we can reach put out. The, we can reach out to me, and I'll put you in contact with the right person. How, how, how do we reach out to you? Um, how do we reach out to this? Like, oh, in general, like, do you guys did you guys give an email or so they can contact us, or is it only through Twitter? Uh, great question. Because <laughs> they can ping me on on Twitter. It's Bodek, B O E D E C. Okay, let's do um, that. And yeah, that could work. Yeah, we we'll, we will after we're done with. Uh, a video will be available for you guys to watch it many, many times before you go to bed. Uh, but, but yeah, See our faces we'll, before you go to sleep. Yeah, we'll have nice also, dreams. We'll also tweet out yeah, this okay. as well. Definitely. Okay. Um, different question. This is more for <coughs> Dolphin. Dolphin has a pretty good sharing system. So we now have um, Facebook, Twitter, 
uh, box and also Evernote. Um, is there any chance for future support for Bibli URL shortening service in order to use Dolphin as a publishing tool for blog posts? Something like Buffer does. Um, it's great feature <laughs> suggestion. Um, we we'll definitely talk to some of um, new partners have approached us. Um, thanks to like the very sort of good use case we have here. There is a lot of many other uh, developers that been coming to us and want to chat. Um, like Buffer, which I use as well, and many others, like sort of potential, just more for easier publishing and sharing. Yeah. Um, like Joshua was saying, you use Sp Sp Sprout. 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 Mm -hmm. So definitely, um, we're thinking, oh, how can we actually use the experience that we have with Evernote, but with other developers, but for diff not for storing or personal purposes, but also broadcasting. Mm -hmm. So definitely something um, that we will think about. Um, so thank you for the suggestion. Um, so, Ronan, I have another question for Evernote. How does Evernote auto tag function works? Yeah. How the technical um, yeah. So we have the the function I was talking about, which is called Find Related. Yep. Um, that is available. That helps you find related content, uh, related notes, for example, inside your account. It does the same things with tags and with notebooks. So, okay. in this case, it actually looks at the content of the article looks at your account and tries to find the best match between the two. Like what are the best tags for they and what are the, what is the best notebook? Smart. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of at trying to add um, something on top of Evernote, trying to help you find information and help you organize it when you're creating it. Got it. Okay. Um, okay, so now this is a little <coughs> bit different questions but also like kinda how to question. I, I want to use Dolphin for Evernote Clipper, but all my bookmarks are in Chrome. Is there a way to move all my bookmark into Dolphin? Oh, this is a Dolphin question. Yeah, it is. Uh, so we actually have a Dolphin extension on Chrome um, now, so you can actually use that and then move all your bookmark um, from Chrome. Okay, I need to be louder <laughs> from from Chrome to Dolphin. So, um, so just go to the Chrome Store, download the Dolphin extensions, and then. And there you can transfer all your bookmark um, to Dolphin. So, so there. All right, um, we have five minutes left yeah. um, with our live chat. So, any exciting news that's coming up for for Evernote for Josh? A new book that's pretty exciting yeah. um, that you guys want to share. The book. Yeah. yeah, so we just launched our annual developer competition. Mm. So it's a four month long competition that started in March, it ends end of June. Um, and basically any developer that's anywhere <coughs> in the world can actually create a product that works with Evernote, but like what you guys did using our API, uh, and submit their application and win. We have tons of prizes. Um, uh, the winner will go home, I think, with $20,000. Oh, wow. So um, if everything is online, so go to devcup.evernote.com and all the details are there. Great. I know it's like a really exciting competition and the ambassadors love it too because, well, we get like tons of awesome integrations coming out of it. Yeah. And it's a lot of fun. It's fun stuff for us to play with. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and I recently did a blog post on the best apps from last year so you can check out yeah. like who were the top ones and just this really creative, fun stuff and they continue to develop and actually are really strong. So who, who won last year and what was it? It was Everclip, wasn't it? Everclip, yeah. yeah. So the idea of Everclip is an iOS app okay. uh, and anything you copy into the clipboard <coughs> can be clipped to Evernote automatically. Cool. So if you select some text on any any app you have and then you can put it in a, in a buffer and then you can easily send it to Evernote. And they, they actually were really successful and have a lot of users uh, on that platform. Yeah, it's a mm -hmm. great addition. Yeah, yeah it's okay. very useful. Okay. So, with this, any final thoughts to share with us uh, before we end with the live chat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I think the easiest way to get started with Evernote, as you said, is just to start clipping things yeah. that you find useful or may find useful. And Dolphin is one way to get that clipping to happen. Yeah. And don't be afraid to clip stuff. You don't have to worry about whether it's useful for you right now or not. You can put it in Evernote, find it later when you need it. And have four to 5,000 notes. Four to, before you know it, 5,000 <laughs> notes will be yeah. under your belt, no problem. And I guess yeah. like for me, it's, 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 you know, it's not just Evernote, it's, it's an ecosystem and mm -hmm. a platform. And I love working with the partners and just seeing things like this develop and yeah. reaching out to our users and yeah. everyone gets excited because it just, the, the usability even grows. And so yeah. Yeah. it's a great, great, 
Yeah, and, and also for us, um, for, for Dolphin in terms of just update, we would love to do it more often. And you know, Evernote has been an awesome partner for us and we want to actually really do, do more of these live chat and bring on other cool partners in the ecosystem, like you say, um, and let everybody you know, share a different ways to sort of improve our mobile life. So yeah. yeah, there's we'll so much cool stuff in the trunk, especially like, you know, Dolphin's in there and so many other great partners. Like, yeah. I feel like people really need to check out what's in there yeah. to find out how they can really make Evernote theirs. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, so please, 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 like, tweet and, like, let us know, like, who are the other cool sort of things that we should all work together, work on, because mm -hmm. um, there is so many potential ways to, that you do on mobile that we probably have not thought about and we would really love to build it. So just yeah. keep the suggestion coming. Um, so with that, thank you so much for tuning in and we will do it more often and I felt like we're, we're sort of like doing this David Letterman thing, but unfortunately <laughs> I don't have any top 10 for you. So um, keep chatting. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, Bye-bye.